G'day guys, Felix Lee here. Um, today's video, the purpose of today's video is truly for me to help you guys. The time that I, I've just came back from my four weeks holiday back to my home countries and also a stop of five days in Kuala Lumpur, that has given me, given me a lot of plenty of time to truly put my, myself in the shoes of people that haven't made any dime, any commissions from online world or from any business that I've been involved in. My message is truly going out for those who are serious, those who are not looking for a, a get-rich-quick scheme, those who are not looking for a sit-and-do-nothing. But, but, but my message is going out for those who are looking for a serious business. I'm not here to sell you another potion or lotion here, but I'm, I'm here to, to, to tell you what you can do. On, I, I'm here to show you the solution to your problems. Okay, it might not be in the pro in the business opportunity that I'm promoting, but I'm here to share with you, regardless of whether you're coming on board later or not. It is your decision. I appreciate, I respect your decision. You might have a business that you're already growing right now, but it is with sincere heart that I want to help people to progress in their life because I know through helping people that is how I give value, that is how I build relationship with you guys. And I want to be friends, obviously, with people, with like-minded people. And I want, I'm here to help other people because I was helped in, in my initial career in, in business. And that is why I'm thankful for. I'm here also to share my experience, my ups and downs, to show you guys that I am as humanly as you are. A lot of people think that, you know, people who have retired from their job or people who have their own business are super power people. But as a matter of fact, you know, if you look in, if you are, in, if you have seen our team stories, we are full of average human being. The only difference are we, we take the risks and also, I should say, we take the calculated risks. And also we are either so sick of what we had gone through before, or we are either so motivated to achieve our dreams and that is why we took a different path compared to so many other people out there that are not willing to do what we have done to tell you a, bit, a little bit of myself um as most of you probably have watched my video i came from a non-english speaking background um, i came from indonesia 15 years ago i came to australia to study right and the initial barriers that I have to overcome through my studies is language obviously is to, to 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 master the language even though I have learned or I have studied English in my in my home country but it is totally different things when it comes to reality when it comes to living real life in Australia they speak differently you know the way they speak the accent and every single little bit of things you have to be living in it, living in Australia to, to experience what it is truly like to be able to speak English. I'm not as perfect as it is as, as the native speakers yet, but I can say that I have gone a, a really long journey to get to where I am right now. I've gone through a, a, a steep learning curve, being laughed at, being mocked at, all those kind of things. But that hasn't stopped me from learning or, or from progressing through. So same goes with business. Same goes with you know any business, not just online business. Online business don't don't get it wrong. You know, online business simply is a business in a form of leveraging internet for you to communicate your message or to sell your product. If you're thinking that you are not here or you don't want to sell anything, hey, if you look at business in general or even offline businesses, physical brick and mortar businesses, they have products to sell. Real estate agent has property to sell. Donut King Shop has donuts to sell. McDonald's has food to sell. You might say that they don't have to talk in front of camera. They might not have to 
you know, talk to people. Yes, they do not talk to people. They simply use advertisement to to advertise their product. But if you are new in business, if you want to leverage, if you do not have money, you don't have a lot of money to invest in business, then I want to say that advertisement or printed advertisement probably wouldn't be the way to go for, for, for a lot of people. You want to start with something. Leveraging means using or leverage the fastest, the, the, the most affordable way to get to where you are. You know, just let me quickly turn off my phone so it don't it, it doesn't become an, a distraction for all of us and especially for me because I'm trying to concentrate thinking what values I can give to you. Yeah, you know, the, the the weeks that I've been staying at my home countries has given me given me plenty of time trying to think of ways of how I can help people to come on board or to, to actually to help people progressing in their business. As I said before, you know, businesses, online businesses is just a business using internet as a media for you to communicate. And that is why I made video, YouTube videos. That is why we have, you know, web pages. That is why we have capture pages or, you know, autoresponder tools that we use. For those, you know, who are new or who haven't known a lot of experience, in internet marketing or online business, obviously th those jargon are, are the things that you learn and you pick up as you go and as you learn. Um, you know, just to show you guys that I truly, truly taken into account of what struggles I've personally gone through and how I can use that to help you guys um, and also try to put myself in the shoes of you guys, you know, of, of people that, that are still, you know, doubting or that are still doubting whether they want to step their feet into this online business. The list that I've made is simply to try to think what are the obstacles, what are the barriers of one um, to get involved in a business. From my experience, um, you know, most of or, or, or my stories might be, you know, you might be able to relate to my stories. As soon as I finish study, I didn't go into business straight away because I wanted to experience how it felt to become a, a white collar worker because I had a degree. So I decided to look for a job. It didn't take me long for me to land to a job in an office. So from there, I started my careers slowly and I ended up um, in a banking industry, in a finance in industry. First, initially, when I when I when I got involved or when I, um, you know, started my careers in 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 the corporate world, I felt, you know, I had a, a sense of prestigious because, hey, this is I this is what I wanted to do, you know, my parents and, you know, my friends at home back home they are probably, I was thinking they might be jealous of me because. You know, I am driving the life. I am earning dollars, and I am working in a in a, a prestigious bank, um, and I had a good, pretty good salary. But then, as life goes by, especially if you have that entrepreneur spirit, especially if you know that there are so much more of things outside of life, outside of you know beside careers or beside working and as soon as I step into the world of having my own family that is when I had a serious thought that career or a nine to five job in a company wouldn't make me or wouldn't give me happiness in the long run because what what did I feel I felt tired first either I have to commute on a bus or train um, also face the traffic, you know, while I'm driving, while I was driving to work, and it took me probably two to three hours back and forth to my workplace and home. Three hours out of my life is being spent just on a car or on a transport, a train or bus, and then eight hours of my life a day was spent in an office. You know, office initially it was fun, but then 
as time goes by and you get bored with all the you know you, the the job itself becomes so routine and then you get stressed with all the chains of management the chains of uh the job that you have to do even by talking about this I already felt you know stress um you know the the, the job itself wasn't too bad but it didn't give me the growth it didn't it didn't give me the satisfaction that I want to experience and most importantly it did not give me freedom that I want to spend time with my family. Three hours plus eight hours at work, it is 11 hours a day in my life. Every single day, day in, day out, Monday to Friday, or sometimes even Saturday, I have to do overtime. Thinking about it, thinking back to those days, I was, to put it simply, I was a walking, zombie you know i do not have life going inside me i do not have the excitement every single day it's every single day is just so monotone until it hits friday every friday you know it's the funny things about corporate world you know when it hits friday that's the most happy day for most people everyone's is happy everyone's chirpy no one is grump no most people are not grumpy on friday because people know that saturday is coming People know that weekend is coming, but as soon as weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday night, people feel, oh, I have to go back to work again tomorrow. And that is how I, exactly how I felt. And I was so sick of it. Then me and my wife, we talk about it, you know, we talk about it seriously, not just, you know, not just lightly. We take, we, we actually took it into the discussions deeply into what we really want to do long run do we want to get into a corporate world you know slaving ourselves nine to five both of both of us or should we opt in for something else and that is when we decided i we decided uh, for my wife to stay at home to to be to become a housewife to teach my son to look after my son and that is when we had one Two stream of income becoming one stream of income, and life became a bit of struggle uh, initially. Um, we did have a few in investment properties that we we invested in that we didn't have troubles at all initially paying off the mortgages. But then, as soon as you know, we have only we are living on single income. We have to sell um, one of our properties, and also to to help to help fund to help to 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 invest. Or to fund our businesses to run so once you know once my, my, my wife quit her job um, in that in that year we also started a business we started an online business um, we started an online business that have that that is that are based on product that have products that we have products to deal with so we have to you know we have to constantly pack products every time orders coming in that business is running pretty good and until this year 2014 it has been the fourth year that we operate this business and this business itself um, from the income wise it has been a great income uh, for us to survive um, mark the word survive because initially for a lot of people for myself and might be for you as well the income that you get would be for survival you probably wouldn't think of holiday or you wouldn't probably even think of how you could you know spend your money in a tropical island yet but for most people it is about surviving how you could survive how you could use those income to pay off mortgages to pay off bills that are that are overdue in 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 our early in my early days um when i first started business when i first started my own our online business me and my wife have you know had these businesses and then myself involved in online businesses as you guys probably are aware uh, currently with carrot bus and building my list over time those businesses give me give us income give us you know um, the foundation for us to survive a lot of times especially in the early days we had to struggle we even have to i even got into a, a fight, you know, a word fight with my wife, thinking or, or discussing 
what options we, we can do. Sometimes I felt bad because I, I am the head of this family, especially for male, you know, or if, if you're a single mom, single parents, you have this huge burden because you know that your family, uh, you, your family is relying on you to provide them food on the tables. You know, so forget about holiday, forget about living the dream life. First, it is about survival, right? So I do understand when it comes to you telling me or people telling me that you do not have time or you don't have you do not have enough money to get started in a business. I do understand that because I have been there before. Yeah, we were fighting about, you know, me telling her, you know, we were discussing that I put an idea that we need to move back to our parents' house because we didn't have enough to pay off the mortgages, which until this day we haven't moved to our parents' house. Uh, if you, in case if you wanted, but you know, those thought while you're working, while you grow your business, all the frustration. That is why we keep saying that success is a journey. Success is actually a process of you overcoming obstacles or, or challenges or problems every single day. Success is actually you becoming better than the day before, becoming better than the year before. Or bet better than you know a second before it is about development it's, it's about development seeing yourself grow every single day that is how you measure success you don't measure success by how much you earn yet initially when you first started in a business that dollar figures will catch up as you go you know if I want to be open with you guys as I am trying as I have tried to be open as open as possible the income that I've earned through my businesses, through me and my wife businesses, or through this um, online business that I'm involved with, are not, you know, are not six figures yet. It is just enough for now for me to, to survive, for me to feed my family, or even sometimes I have to worry. But worriness does not give me result. Worriness gives me stress, and stress gives me... You know, st stress is a vicious cycle, and we just—I just talk about this to my wife, um, this couple of days because we talk about you know the money issues and these vicious cycles. It, you might be able to relate to this as well. When I feel stress, you know, when I stress about money, when I stress about how come you know this income, this money is not enough, my wife will become stressed, and it turns out to be my my son will become stressed as well. And then it will feed back to me because they are stressed. I'll become even more stressed. When I become more stressed, my, my wife becomes more stressed and then my, my son becomes more stressed and it becomes even worse and worse every single day until I make that decision. It is about making a decision, you know. It, is, it could be as quick as switching a light bulb in your head that I make a decision to become different. You know, for me to to humbly, to to honestly admitting my fault, ad admitting my mistake, admitting my my stress to my wife, and work out a solution instead of we in, instead of whinging about life, instead of you know complaining about what we have, we started to work a solution. We started to become more grateful, to become you know to to become more creative instead of locking ourselves in a box. This side of story to just show you guys that I am as human as you are. You know, I can get upset when my son doesn't eat his breakfast or his, eat his lunch. Uh, but again, success or progress in life is about you becoming better every single day. By you becoming progressive you know, develop every single day. Look at driving, look at cycling as an example. You know, when you were small, remember, you know, cycling is such a hard thing for you to learn. But if, if you know how to cycle today, you probably, you know, you can probably do it with your eyes shut or without, without even thinking. When you, when you first learn how to cycle or, or when you first learn how to drive, 
when you oh, when you first learn to do anything you do not you actually have to put a lot of your thoughts into it right you have to you have to think a lot on how what is the first should i go with the right foot first or should should it follow with the left foot later or how does it work you think a lot that is why it was hard but then as time goes time and as you learn as you practice more it becomes easier for you guys as it is in life when you do when you are involved in business you know when you do when you listen all to to all the trainings that we give you guys it is all the learning curve that we everyone every single person have to go through i have to go through no no one in the world have can skip this you know can skip the process if they if they want to there is no shortcut to success right but it will become easier i promise you it will become easier every single day looking back 2 years ago you know the thought of even talking in front of camera it is as scary as you know just turning on a camera i have to do a video probably just a welcome shot 3 minutes video probably 10 times or even 20 times i even have script i have like this kind of paper clipped clipped on on in front of me using a you know the the clothes hanging clothes hanging um clip to clip it in front of my computer for me to read the script now looking back on those videos i can tell you know especially if if i'm experienced enough i can tell that those are script reading but hey it doesn't matter it is the matter is for you to take the risks and for you to do it if it is the first time it will become it will be hard for you it will be tough i acknowledge that it is not easy some people might be might have that talent might have that natural talent you know to speak in front of camera or to speak in front of public to speak in front of people but a lot of people are not born with that i certainly wasn't born with that but i do know that i do know that i was born with a natural sense of you know striving to become better every single day i do not give in to status quo i do not give in to 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 situations to the current situations that i'm living in I strive for a better tomorrow. I strive for a better today. I strive for a better me today. And my promise to myself that I keep repeating every single day is that I am gonna treasure every single moment in my life. Because every, pre every present moment is indeed a present or a gift from God. And talking about God, I believe, I 110% believe that every time I face the problems there is actually a moment when God reminded me hey you need to rely on me more on you need to rely on yourself because obviously I can do as much as I can but I love what I'll be keep mentioning in in our team trainings I'll be if you if in case if you don't know I'll be I'll be is I'll be Costa is one of our leaders in in our team um, he's my mentor as well he's my friend um, who have shared this insight work hard as it is all up to you pray hard as it is all up to God so you can see that hey you go to work as hard as you can but don't forget to pray as it is all up to God so do have an expectation I do not tell you guys do not be ex do not expect to be successful in one year no I have seen people done it you know if you have seen our team testimonials which I do suggest you to do. If you don't have the link, let me know. I can forward you the link for, for our team testimonials. We have ranges of people from any social backgrounds from anywhere, you know, anywhere in the world, from homeless, from, in, you know, non-internet or non-tax savvy, from people who are from corporate world, any kind of people. From our team testimonials, I believe that you can find a person that you can relate to. You can relate to their stories and those people defy the odds because those people do not take, do not give in to status quo. That is why I want to I want to I want to do this video because I want to I want you guys to think. I want you guys to, to also know that there is hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Take Gerald as an example. Hey Gerald, if you listen to this, hi from Felix. 
um, my salute to you, my respect to you, um, seeing you going from homeless, um, from sleeping on couches to become financially free right now. And obviously, those journey that they have gone through is not easy. But am I, but your story have ins, I believe have inspired a lot of people, and I truly believe Gerald's story. You know, for those of you, especially especially if you still have job, if you if you still have savings, I want you guys to think about your life. Would you be doing the same thing over and over again? Imagine yourself, you know, doing the same job right now for the next twenty years. Because don't tell me that you're not gonna stay in your job for the next twenty years. Because I've seen a lot of people telling me that hey i'm not gonna stay in this job for long but they ended up you know staying in the careers for years for until they you know probably even until until they in their lifetime a lot of people when I, I when i used to work in a bank a lot of them stay in a bank for 30 years for 40 years some of them even pass away you know that is a pretty sad story if i think about it it's not that those people are lazy. No, they work hard. They work their ass off for the company, for the for their family, and I respect that because I myself is a hard worker. I do not, when it comes to work, I give my best because I know you know people pay me for my service. But sometimes, obviously, your employers, your bosses might take advantages of you, which happens to a lot of instances. And you might be able to relate to that as well and that has got to me to a point of one i truly when i was truly sick of you know giving my best while other people do not appreciate my service and that is when i truly make that decision that i want to start something i want to take a risk you know i have been scammed before in my early days of businesses people you know i was just like I, you know i was i was as greedy as as any human being can you know human being tells me that you know people are generally lazy people are generally greedy and those those characters were my characters when i first started online i was greedy i put in a lot of my savings into this passive type of programs where sit and do nothing you know i can see myself my, my money grow you know digitally in, in 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 online you know but when it comes to withdraw my money my money just flew away to some gurus or to some scammers out there try to scam people's away not just once i fell into the same holes different times so many times that i was so sick of it that i almost gave up in the middle of journey you know it has given it has come to a point that i cannot trust anyone i even I even give up hope and trust to my mentors initially, to Scott, to Lawrence, to Albi, you name it. If you listen to this video, you know, you probably understand my feelings and you probably have the same feelings as well, I believe. But that is why it is so great to be in this team because it is through person, it is through another person, it is through my mentor that I've been picked up. That I know that I haven't been left alone in the battlefield. Everyone else is experienced the same thing. That is why we as the leaders or everyone, all other leaders are striving to make an honest living by sourcing the right business opportunity for people. And if you listen to this video um, on 2014 when we promote protection through gold team, the reason our team has invested a lot of money you know, my respect again to all the leaders who have put forth all their own money into developing a system. Again, it is a system. The reason why it is called a system is because it has filtered out through all the human element as much as possible. Imagine yourself coming online when you sign up to a person, when you sign up in a business, you know nothing. You, you know a little about a business or you know a little about internet marketing. And then when you try to promote your business out there, people watching your videos, people say, hey, this is something interesting. Let me ask a few questions to this, per you know, to this person. What kind of trainings will he provide to me? So when you, when, you, when you try to face this kind of prospect, you have the fears, oh, I'm gonna 
provide training. I do not have, I do not even have enough or, or right skill to teach people. How am I gonna teach people? That is why systems, why that is why our sales funnel or our systems are in place to provide trainings, a congruent trainings. So it doesn't become, you know, so say when you come in online and when you join a business, when you bring someone else to join a business, what kind of trainings will you provide him? If you provide eight, you know, say a training from this particular person, that will be different from someone else's training. So there will be different levels. Everyone has different levels of knowledge or levels of skill or levels of, you know, mindset. And that is why with system, where we put forth the best leaders in our team to deliver the trainings, that is when you know that when you sign up someone else in our business, in this business, you know that they are in a good care. As long as they follow your instructions to go through the trainings, to watch the trainings, you know that you are gonna develop or you're gonna grow a proper, a, a great business in the long run. Again, I said in the long run, some people might make it short, you know, might make it in a, in a few years time. But hey, think about it. Say if I tell you, you are going to be successful or you're going you're gonna to hit the, your desired income in five years time. Will that be worth it? Or say even 10 years time, will that be worth it? We are selling lifestyle here. We are offering a different kind of lifestyle here. A lifestyle of where you only work, you, you only need to work three to five hours a day. The the lifestyle of you be, being able to work from anywhere in the world by having internet access, as long as there is an internet access. A lifestyle of you can choose the time that you want to work. The lifestyle of you being able to choose who you want to work with. Would that be a lifestyle that you want to live? If it is, think about it. If I say five years will be the time of you becoming successful or you becoming independent, you don't have to, you don't have to go to your day job any, anymore, will that be worth it? If it is worth it, or if it is not worth it, think about it. Would that be, would you rather, would you prefer going to a nine to five job every single day for the next 30 years? Will that five years of sacrifices or ten years of sacrifices be worth it? You know, that, that involves sacrifices of time, of your own money, of your own effort. You know, you might miss all the great TV shows. You might miss all the, you know, the social gathering with your friends. You might miss all the, you know, great movies that is going on right now. You might miss all the sit and relax on the couch after work or after after dinner you might miss those moments initially when you first started how do i know because i have gone through that but let me tell you i do not miss a moment of being able to sit in front of the couch watching tv at night because those are not things that i look forward anymore it used to be i used to get stressed if i do not watch tv a day i used to get stressed if i do not relax in front of the couch after I came back from work. Because I have, you know, this is the thought that I have back then. I was thinking I have been working my ass off for 11 hours. I've been out there for 11 hours. I need to treat myself. I either buy a coffee a day to treat myself or I either buy a dessert myself. I spend money on something to feel better or I watch TV after work. That gives me excuses. Hey, I've been working hard. This is, this is what I deserve. But that doesn't change my life. That doesn't change or that doesn't progress my life or my finance, right? It just makes me feel better temporarily. So I want you guys to choose wisely. Would you want to enjoy something temporarily or would you, some, would you rather prefer a short-term pain to, to achieve or long-term gain? You know, that is the part that I choose a few years ago. You know, I decided to put in my money, to put in my time, to put in my energy. You know, I fall and I get, I felt and I get back up. That is the most important thing, guys. Failures or falling down is a guarantee because it is a journey everyone has to go through. And the moment that you fall down, think of it or look at it as a matter or as from a few 
that you're going to use that experience to teach other people, to share with other people. Because people are human. People want to follow someone that is as human as they are. You know, if I keep sharing with you guys all my successes, all my commissions that I've made, you know, that is great, Felix, but you probably are smarter than I am. But I'm here to share that I am as human as you are. I can get upset. I can get upset easily. You know, I, do not, I did not know that I can, be, I can get upset so easily until I had my son. You know, he tested my patience, which is good. I can see myself grow every single day. I can see, see myself asking for, for forgiveness from God and from my son every single day because of my weaknesses. We are all human. And that is why I would love to connect with you guys because I know that you are as human as I am. You, there is a longing, there's a desire in you for you to strive a better life, right? And I'm not here to scam anyone's money because I know that every single dollars that you earn, whether it is dollar or any other currencies that you earn, I know that it is through hard work or sweat. And especially when, if you watch my videos from the one that I did back in Kuala Lumpur or in my home countries, Indonesia, Medan, I realize, I'm aware how hard people work in the third world countries where people do not earn dollars. You know, people do not take a dollar for granted, you know. A dollar, if you take it back home, if you take it to the third world countries, it can buy you a meal. So that is why I am seriously sick of all the so-called guru out there trying to promote things and scam people's away people's money away if you are if you have been in that position before if you have been scammed before where you have joined a business opportunity and no one else no one there is to to help you after you have joined then i i understand where you're coming from i understand where you are right now and if you are so desperately you know seeking for a way out for seeking for extra incomes to pay off your mortgages. Let's forget about, you know, a high income lifestyle first. Let's get back to reality. Let's get back to basic. How do I pay off my mortgages? How can I earn extra income to pay off my bills? If you're truly serious, if you truly say that, Felix, I am willing to sacrifice, to put forth my time, my energy, my time, my money, into growing my business then i truly want to extend my hand to welcome you and i promise you to 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 give the best that i can give if you are willing to listen to what i want to say or what i share with you guys because every time i for i send in emails especially if you are in my team in my trainings team you know every single emails that i've, I've sent to you guys it is being written with a thought in mind for me to help you guys. I'm not here to, again, I'm not here trying to sell, you know, trying to, to sell hype to people. If you are here for a sit and do nothing business, then unsubscribe from my list. Seriously, I do not have time for tire kickers and I do not wish, I do not want to waste your time either. I appreciate people's time. Every single person is being created equally with, you know, with, 24 four hours a day talking about sleeping you know a lot of people say they do not have time even myself I still work while my my wife and my son is asleep because for me those are the times when I can find a peace and quiet moment to concentrate when they when they go to sleep sometimes I'm awake I have to be awake before they wake up those sacrifices that I'm, I make that decision for me to, I'm willing to accept those sacrifices because it gives me pleasure. It gives me, you know, the, the, the time that I can enjoy more the presence of, you know, my family. At the end of the day, when you have earned enough lifestyle, when you have earned enough income to cover your mortgages or to cover your bills, that you become to step into a, you, you, you become to step into another levels, a levels where you are looking for ways on how you can enjoy your life more. And obviously everything, you know, success is a journey again. You know, that is why you need to think for your own, for your own sake, for your, for your family's sake. I do understand, you know, how 
important it is for people to look up to you, especially for your family. The risks you might have, you know, fear in your mind. What if, you know, the, the, this business doesn't work? What if, you know, things fail? Hey, if you do not take some risks, you do not know what it will give you. Okay, as it's called risks, it can give you a benefit or it can it can it, it can drag you down a bit. But think about it again. What is the worst thing that can happen? That is the exact question that I used when I decided when I made that decision to quit my job. What is the worst thing that can happen? You know, I have even sorted down or I filtered down my fear and you know to a point of okay, the worst thing is I can I have to sell my house but I, can, I still have some money to keep to grow my business, I can buy another house again later on. That is the worst thought which hasn't happened until now. And the decision that I took, initially, you know, you still have that doubt, especially if you're not, if, if we are so used to the work, you know, a 9 to 5 environment, a 9 to 5 job, you know, you get so used to the income, regular income coming in. It is so uncomfortable when you become, when you, when you, you know, involve in a business because income in a business could be irregular. It could have its ups. It could have has its downs. You know, you could it like you could you could probably earn, say, thousands of dollars a week, and suddenly the next week, you earn probably even not even hundreds a week. That is the nature of business. And that is the risk people aren't willing to take. And that is just from the dollars figures point of view. And when it comes to emotional or support or, or you know environment point of view, you do not only have the doubt from yourself, the doubt from other people around you, especially your loved one, especially your family. Initially, when I made that decision to quit my day job, you might, I handed in my retirement letter. The people that are most concerned are my parents, you know. Every time I talk on the phone with them, the, the questions that they always ask me, are you sure that this is the part that you want to go? Are you sure that you have, regu you have enough income to pay your mortgages? Sometimes I even, I, that, you know, makes me not you know, try to not be in be in touch with them because um, I was too afraid that they might cross my dream. I know that they mean well. That is why you you know the the way you look at things is very important. You know the way you you see other people making comments, giving you a a, a constructive criticism. You know, try to think. You know, they love you. That is why they give their opinion to you. It might not be right, but it is your job, your responsibility to think what is best for you. And it is a decision, a day in, day out decision to be disciplined in your business. When Once you make that decision that, yes, I want to grow a business, it is your decision to be, to help yourself accountable, to be, you know, to take responsibility, to have that, what do you call it, um, not confidence, but to have um, discipline, you know, to have discipline, to stick with what you need to do, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what happens, you have to be, you have to discipline yourself. And that, I, I personally honestly say that, that is one of the hardest things to do to discipline yourself regardless of how you feel when you feel tired or when you feel sad when you feel upset you still have to get things done discipline yourself you know regardless of whatever business that you're involved in whether you have a mentor already or whether you do not have a, you know whether you are new or whether you have been involved in a business a long time take my advice listen to my video again i believe it will help you you know, for those who are new, for those who do not, who are desperate to look for a way out, the importance of a mentor, the, the importance of a right team, is, is playing a crucial part 
of a success for you because that happened to me. You know, if, if I didn't, if I didn't, did not have, if I did not have the right people, the right team, the right mentor beside me, I probably would have opted out and tried something else, which is another mistake that a lot of people do not focusing on the one thing at a time, jumping from one thing to another thing too quick. You know, one advice that I take seriously from my parent, from my dad, who is involved in a business himself, is he has a, my dad has a full belief in whatever I do. He just simply told me, he doesn't really know what business I'm doing. He doesn't really understand the internet era, but he just know, he, he told me, hey, son, focus on one thing at a time focus on that business whatever business that you're doing focus on it give your 110 percent and it will become successful you know the wisdom from my parents the, who doesn't finish uni it doesn't finish school you know have the inside of a wisdom of a successful business person that is to persist that is to focus to be diligent on one thing at a time it will pay off and I want you guys to do the same thing if you have found the right business focus on that business don't even think joining our business or our team regardless of how great it is because if you think that it is already great continue on focusing on growing that particular business but if you haven't found the right business or the right team then I truly I I'm here to welcome you with my arms open and and I promise you to help you with the best ability and with my time as, as much as I can. And again, back to our team, the reason why new people, so many people coming on board with our team is because we are simply genuine human beings trying to help other people. You know, we are frustrated ourselves when it comes to seeing other people not achieving results. Because we have been there ourselves. We have been, you know, being scammed. We have fallen down so many times. We have been, you know, our money has been run away from you know, uh, by someone else, by some so-called guru, and just disappear into cyberspace. And we do know that every single dollar counts. And for those who are worried, you know, who says, hey, Felix, once I join, I know that I need money to grow by my business. So how am I supposed to grow my business? What I can say is, as long as there is a will, as long as you have the desire, there will be a way. And in addition to that, our team, currently we are running a co-op. The advertisement co-op, what it means is simply we have a pool of you know, money, people who wants to advertise, who wants to get traffic for their business. They can actually pull in into one pool of money affordably, probably say $80, $80, one you know every single time you want to put an in put an advertisement and you get leads coming in and the reason why it works is because when you buy advertisement with a big pool of money it becomes cheaper and not just that we source quality advertisement we personally i do not ever recommend things that i do not personally use same with our team i do know that we have integrity to honestly share resources or to honestly share things that we personally have done or have used before. And that's why if you are new, get plugged in with our system, with our sales funnel, let it work for you. I don't say that it will become the absolute drive to make you money, no, because it is a bonus. Still, at the end of the day, how you make money, how you make it long term will depend on you. It will, will depend on how big you grow or how developed you become. So that is why while you while you, re, you rely or you leverage the systems that we have, you use that time to grow yourself. And that way you be build a sol solid relationship. Because honestly, in this business, regardless of how great the product is, how great the system training is, some people do not join a business after, or join you or join this business after a few years or even after a few months. You can't tell. But if they see you are consistent, if they see that you deliver result, if, you see, if they see that you deliver value, they can see that you grow yourself every single day, then people will come to you. 
that is how you build it as a long term. Initially, you know, in 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 in, in the initial phase of your business journey, you will have a few confidence built up by having a, a small results coming in, which is good because success is built on successes, and success leaves clue. So with that said, I want you guys to take on board what I've told you guys in this video because it is with respect, it is with humble heart that I want to share this message to you. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on your life because life is too short to, to simply live a routine that doesn't give you results. You know, you might have salary, in regular incomes coming in, but if you are not happy about your life, if, you, if that doesn't give you time, which is the most precious asset that you can have with your family, then what does it, you know, what good does it do for you? At the same time, if you run a business, if you don't have time that you can spend for yourself or for your family, what good does it do? So take a moment for yourself, Think about your own life, your own futures, and see, seriously, plan it out and focus on one thing at a time. And when you're ready, obviously, I'm always here. You can plug back to me, add me on Skype. My Skype username is Felix Lee123. It's F E L I X L I E123. Subscribe to my YouTube channels or just let me know how I can help you. Or just connect with me, you know, because we are simply friends, human beings, trying to help as many people as many serious people as we can so thanks again guys for watching this video i'll see you guys next time bye bye